glad that you could join us today for our edible art activity. I'm Mary. This is Joey and Flo. We'll be making simple shapes with pizza dough to bake and eat with a delicious dipping sauce. For the ingredients, you'll need pizza dough, flour, and egg, milk. For your dipping sauce, you'll need butter and honey. Let's move the honey so Joey doesn't get it. We'll also be using a cookie sheet, rolling pin, knife, spatula, and pastry brush. But first we have to make our shapes. And I'm getting hungry, so let's get started. Okay, we're all here. I'm going to teach you how to make a symmetrical butterfly shape for our dough pat for our dough pattern. I have my paper, my scissors, and my pen. First thing I need to fold my paper in half. And now I need to draw my butterfly. I'm only going to draw half of the butterfly. Okay, you can see it now. It's half. The other half is blank. So in order to make it symmetrical, all I have to do is cut this out. I'm going to try to do it fast so that you'll be able to see how the shape looks as a symmetrical shape. And of course, the word symmetrical means that the shape is the same on both sides. It'll be exactly the same on the other side. All I have to do is cut out this half. So, let's take a look. Voila! You have your shape. It's a pattern and it's ready to go on the dough. I'll put it over here and I also have with me some cookie cutters. You probably have some cookie cutters at your home. We can use those uh, to make some smaller shapes too. Here we go. Cookie. Make it a little bigger. Put a little more flour on my rolling pin. Okay. Now we're going to town. A little bit more. We have to stretch it out a bit. I want our shapes to fit on here. Let me see now. I think we need to stretch it a little more. Okay, one more time. Do it one more time and then we'll try to put our shapes on. To use a little muscles. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the shapes to fit on here. We have two shapes: a butterfly and an owl. Okay. It keeps wanting to shrink up, though. It's got a mind of its own. Okay, let me get my shapes. I have an owl shape, and we have a beautiful butterfly shape. So, try to fit these on here. They're not going to fit. <laughs> oh, they might fit. Looks like they're going to fit. 
Good enough. Yep, it's gonna fit. You can take um, a little cup of milk, and it's a good idea to dab a little bit of milk on the dough where we're gonna place the um, shape so it um, so it doesn't move when because we're gonna cut it out. We're gonna we're gonna cut out the shape. Okay, just need a couple of dots, that's it. Okay. Now the next thing is to cut the shapes off. Now I'm gonna try to do it with a knife. Just on uh, one of your kitchen knives. And you might need a little help from an adult for this. Oh, it's working, so that's good. It takes a little time to do this. You have to press kind of hard, too. Okay. And then I kind of peel this. Uh oh, it's not. Okay, I'm going to try another technique just to see if. If that might work better, I was thinking it might work better. A scissors, okay? So what I'm going to do is cut the dough in half. I'm going to try to maybe use the scissors. See which one works better. Okay. Let's see here. So you're going to try to follow the shape as much as you can. Um, take your time. I'm going to take a little while to do this. doesn't have to be perfect. So I have to lift the dough up a little bit and still try to follow the shape. Okay. Keep going here. Okay. Okay, I pretty much got the owl done. I'm going to take this off, take my pattern off, and it looks pretty good. doesn't have to be perfect, as I said. So I'm going to move that to the side. I can shape it a little bit with my fingers, too, afterwards. Now I'm going to work on the um, butterfly. I'm going to go back to trying the knife again and see how that works. The dough is really soft, so you have to press hard. And make sure that you really cut it all the way through. Sometimes when you're doing something like this, if one tool doesn't work um, so well, you can maybe try another tool. That's why. <clears throat> that's why I thought ap I thought afterwards that it might be a good idea to bring a scissors along for this also. Okay, almost done here. Okay, let me just turn this around so I can do it e more easily over here. Making it, I'm making it about a quarter of an inch thick. You don't want it to be too thick but you don't want it to be too thin either, so. Okay. 
I'm going to peel this away. Okay, it's sticking. It's sticking a little bit too much. Next time, I won't put so much milk on it. Okay. Looks pretty good. So now we have the butterfly and we have the owl. Now we're ready to make the small shapes with our cookie cutters. All you do is really press them in and take the dough away from the outside. Okay. Well, I have one done, a butterfly. The other, the other cookie cutter is a heart. Let's press that in really well. Take the dough away. Okay. Oh boy, sometimes it's very sticky. Okay, got my shapes. Now I'm ready to transfer them to the cookie sheet. First, I'm going to do the butterfly, and you put your spatula way under if you can. Okay, plop it on the cookie sheet, and you can always fix it up a little bit. It's going to get a little twisted, a little out of shape. It's easy to fix. Okay, now for the heart that over here. Now for the butterfly. Okay. Now we're ready to decorate our shapes. That's the fun part too. Um, I have the extra dough over here for decorating. And so to make your shapes really, really special, you want to put some details on. And the easiest thing to do, I found, was to take a little piece of, of dough and make a little ball in your hand. And that could be an eye. And here's another ball that could be another eye. So in order for it to stick well, I have some milk. And I have a brush. If you have a brush, you could use that if you want. Otherwise, Often I just use my finger. I dip it in, put a dot where I want the eyes to be, and that will make them stick. So now I have two eyes, and should I put a mouth on the butterfly? Okay. This will work. I'm going to put a dab of milk where I want the mouth to go. Put the mouth on. Okay, that really is going to look good. Now, sometimes you might want to take the scissors and snip like this. So it's really two good ways to do it. You can snip a piece and let it go like this so you make a long snake shape. Like a coil. So you can use that to decorate with. I have one over here. I'm going to put that on my butterfly, just like that, and put a little milk first. So I'm going to have a pattern on my butterfly. Now, you can use your imagination, and you can put any kind of thing on your butterfly. You can use to do it like this or let's see, let me do that a little better. Okay. As I said before, the easiest thing to do to make the details is just to pinch off a little piece of dough, roll it in your fingers. And then put a dab. If you have the brush, as I said you could use that. Dab here, 
dab here. Pretty soon your butterfly is looking pretty special. Okay, I'm going to put a couple more on and then we're going to work on the small shapes. Okay. Looking good. I think I'm going to put a little bit more in the middle just to make it look interesting. So, dab of milk here, here, and here. Take some of this, put it here. I'm almost done with my butterfly. Okay, last one. Okay. And for the heart, same thing. You put your details wherever you want them. Just until you think it looks nice. Oh, I think I'm going to make a face on my heart. Okay, so I'm going to put two dots of milk for the eyes and one line for the smile. Here's one eye and um, here's the other eye. And let me get a long piece here. This is going to be for the smile. Okay. I'm going to press that in a little bit. And that should look really nice. And I'm not going to put too much on the butterfly, the little one, because it's so small. We'll put a few details on it to make it look special. Okay. okay. Just a couple more dots. Okay. Oh, I just thought of something else I should put on my butterfly. The antenna that come out like that. And I have enough dough for it. I'll just take a piece like this and attach it to the head of the butterfly. Okay? There. There's one side. Let's see, let's do the other side. Okay. Alright, that looks good. And I'll do a little one for the small cookie cutter shape as well. Then it'll look really like a butterfly. Okay, I'm going to try to get this a little bit longer. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're all set with that. You can always shape them a little bit when they're on the tray. If you need to fix some of the parts. Okay, looks good to me. Now we're ready to glaze them. I have my pastry brush and I have my egg glaze. This is what gives them a nice golden color. So you little dab will do you. You do want to cover them. Looking good. It doesn't hurt if you put a little extra on. That's going to make them look really beautiful. OK. 
Okay. My oven is preheated at 350 degrees. And these are almost ready to go in the oven. I'm putting a little extra glaze on. It looks good to me now. I think it's, I think they're ready. They're ready to go in the oven. Okay, baking time is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. You're going to want to check your small shapes sooner. While we wait, let's make our dipping sauce. I'm going to put some butter in the bowl. I'm going to drizzle some honey in. Okay. Joey's going to like this. Now I can put it in the microwave for a few seconds, or if you like, you can heat it on top of your stove. Okay, it's in. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Time to check the oven. The small shapes look done. They look really good. They're golden brown. We put them on the platter, and the big one has to go back in for a little while. It's been a few more minutes. Let's see if the butterfly is done. Mmm, that looks great. It's golden brown. And it looks really, it looks fantastic. I can't wait to try it. Now comes the best part. Bon appetit.